All right, so today we've got lesson three, which is perimeter and area of composite shapes. Composite shapes meaning that they are composed of, well, more than one particular shape. So if we look, what we've got here is we've got ourselves a composite shape because you can see that it is actually broken up into, we can break it up into two different rectangles here. So um, the first thing that we want to have to do is figure out missing distances. So how would you determine, um, you know, what is the length of side A? Well, because the length, is, because line A is a horizontal line going from left to right, we're going to use numbers that are going to be going from left to right. Um, not going to use the two. That's going up and down, so vertical, and 5 goes vertical as well. So um, what we see here is the entire distance is 12. So opposite sides in a rectangle have the exact same length. So if this side is 4, that means that this side is 4 from here to here. Well, if the entire distance is 12 and we've used up 4, that means the missing distance would be 8. So the opposite side would also be an 8. Let's check out B. Now, because this is vertical, we're going to be using our vertical numbers, the 2 and the 5. So if this is 5, and again, I know, oh, I don't know the entire distance, but what I do know is that this is a 5. So from here to here is a 5, and from there to there is a 2, which means the entire distance is, yeah, it's a 7 there. So um, now I can finally find the perimeter because I actually have all the numbers that there are. So we do want to make sure that we are kind of keeping track of all of them. It is easy to lose some of the numbers. Um, so we're going to write them all out here. Um, I'm going to put a little mark next to the first one that I use. So when I go around the circle, I know I've already used it. So I've got an 8. I've got a 2. I've got a 4. I've got a 5. I've got another. Oh, wait. Four, oh, oh, wait. Oh, so see, I could use that for that 8. But hey, that's all 12. So we do have to not just blindly grab numbers that we see. We do need to use those, the outside distance. So then I've got a 7 that's there. And I know to stop there because that's my 8. Uh, this, no, 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 it's not part of the original shape. Not going to use it. So let's see here. 8 plus 2 is 10. Um, and if you want to kind of group them, all right, we'll just do 10. 4 plus 5 is a 9. 12 plus 7 is a 19. And then I can do, hey, 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 plus 19, uh, my perimeter is 38. So it is 38 units. Let's take a moment there and see if you can find the area of the next one. So we are going to um, divide the shape into two rectangles. You could go left or right if you want. I'm just going to go up and down because that's well, that's what I did before. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of work with that. Um, so what I can see here is I've got, I'm going to label this as rectangle one and this is rectangle two. Uh, I'm going to start with rectangle two because I notice it's the numbers are there. Uh, length times width. So it does have a width of 4. It's got a length of 5. Hello, right angle. Yeah. So 4 times 5, that gives me a 20. So the area of this particular region is going to be a 20. Now, um, I need to know how far it is from left to right and from up and down. So this is where we have to use the other numbers. So if you remember, opposite sides was a 5. So from there, there's a 5. Opposite sides is a 2. So the entire distance is is a 7. So because that's all 7, I need to now find how wide it's going to be. Now, I don't have the number that's up there, so we have to find that particular number. Well, if you remember from before, then don't fall for the trap here, all right? Um, do you see that 12 that's there? Do you do you see that? Um, don't, don't, don't use it. Yeah, no, 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 because the 12 goes all the way across. Well, that's the 4, so I've used up 4 of it, so it's only an 8. So for region 1, I need to do 7 times 8 and get my area of 56. I like to write them in there so I can see them. I can see I've got them all. So I'm going to do 56 plus 20 to get the total area. So hello, 76. It is units. I don't have a measurement, so we'll call it units, and then it is squared. So remember, just don't grab numbers. You do need to look at it there. Do you understand? That's that's dolphin for yes. I didn't know if you. I I speak dolphin. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Anyway, 
Okay, so uh, example two, we want to determine the perimeter and the area of this particular shape. So let's attack perimeter first. If I'm going to take care of perimeter, I need to make sure I find all the length of sides. I know. So let's take care of some of the nice ones first. Like, I don't have this distance from here to here, but opposite sides will have the same length. So if that's a 4, that guy will be a 4 as well. Um, now, uh, I need to know how tall it is up and down. Well, if I look across here, ooh, I've got that. Opposite sides will have the same length in a rectangle, so it is 9. And now you might think, I don't see the rectangle. Well, if you actually close it in, that entire shape would make a rectangle, so that's why the opposite sides. So let's look at what we've got here. Um, I need to know how far it is from here to here. What we do want to notice is, um, if you want to draw in a line here, because it actually breaks it up into the rectangles, if that side's two, that side's two, if that side's two, that side's two, remember the entire distance is a seven. I've used up two and another two, so altogether I've used up, go and say it, Yep, you've used up four. So I've used up four, which means how much is left over? It is a three. Seven minus four does give us three. So um, we check two plus three is five. Five plus two is seven. It does match up with it. So let's go after perimeter here. So to find perimeter, um, and again, I'm going to circle. I'm going to circle this time what I started with. I'm going to use the two, okay? And then I've got the four that's there. And then I've got the three that's there. I've got the four that's there. I've got the two that's there. I got the nine that's there. I got the seven that's there. And then I've got a nine that's there. Yeah, I ran out of room. So you know what? We're just gonna put it right down there. Um, lots of them there. So the, part of it is organization. Right now my organization is not too good, so I'm gonna work on that on my next line. Remember, it's all addition, so we can kind of work it in groups here. Uh, two plus four is six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus four is thirteen. Thirteen plus two is, you know, that's fifteen. I'm gonna stop right there, and then plus nine plus seven plus nine. So I just did part of it. That's there. Um, I don't want to do fifteen plus nine right now. So you know what? I can do the seven plus nine. Remember, I know it's order of operations, but it's all addition there, so we can actually go in any order that we want. So 15 plus 9, 7 plus 9 is 16. And now I can add some of these guys together. Um, 15 plus 9 is 24. 24 plus 16, that does give me a perimeter of 40. So there's my answer, 40, and it is 40 meters. All right. Um, let's go after area now. I'm going to kind of branch this out, kind of bracket that up so we can see it. Um, you can see your rectangles. I've got, I'm going to call this rectangle 1. I'm going to call this guy rectangle 2. I'm going to call this rectangle 3. I'm going to go after rectangle 3 right away because I think it's the easiest one to see. I can see in my rectangle, left to right, I'm going 2. Up and down, I'm going 4. So there we go, 2 times 4. That gives me an 8. Now, um, these rectangles are the same. We always don't want to make that assumption, um, but we can see left to right is 2. Up and down was a 4. So region 2 is also going to be an 8 as well. The last guy is region 1 that I've got to try to go after here. I can see left to right, it's 7. Now, take a look at that 9. Do you see the 9? Are you going to use the 9? Hopefully you said no to that. Yeah, no, we are not going to end up using the 9. So what do we actually use? Well, I only want the distance from here to here. If the entire distance is 9, how much have I used up? Well. That's a four. That's a f ah. Opposite sides and rectangle have the same length, so I've used up four so far. Four out of the nine, so it is a five. Yeah, the entire distance is a five. That's there. So, um, how tall is it? Five. So seven times five, thirty-five. Uh, notice here when we're doing our areas, they are rectangles. I don't. I'm not going to require you to write the formula for it. Um, just simply get me the numbers that you use. Didn't have to do it for two because it was the exact same. I don't have my answer though because I need to add. Yes, I do need to add them all up. So I've got a thirty-five, and then I've got an eight, and I've got an eight. Um, eight plus eight is sixteen. So I'm left with what is thirty-five plus 16. 
if we add that up together, all right, I'm going to get an area of ooh, 1, all right, carry the 1, 3, 4, ah, 51, all right, and it's 51, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to tidy that up a little bit for you guys there. Let's let's go back here. 51, uh, and then it is meters, and because it's area, it is squared. So notice how nicely I have circled my answers. So if someone was checking it, like your teacher, they could quickly find the answer, um, but then also can follow the work that goes along with it as well. All right. Um, let's do one more. All right. Um, and... Uh, and then we're going to stop here. I know, I know, just, oh, don't be so disappointed there, all right? Um, so let's see here. I could go left to right. I could go up and down. It just kind of varies. I'm going to go left to right this time since I haven't done one of those. And oh, my goodness, look how nice this is. Oh, I'm going to go area because I see area. Look at this region one, all right? How wide is it? How wide? It's five wide. How tall is it? It's four. Woo, five times four is 20. That was nice. And now look at the next one. Oh. Look how wide it is, nine. Look how tall it is, four. We're going to call that region two, and I can just multiply to find the area. So altogether, if I add my 20 with my 36, I get 56. Now, watch which blank you're going to put it on. Think about that. Did I just find perimeter, or did I find area? Hopefully, hopefully you said, yeah, hopefully you said perimeter. Oh, oh, no area. Yes, I did find area. So 20 plus 36 is 56. Um, it is feet, and because it's area, it is squares. Now, perimeter, i got to make sure I get all the sides here. So, okay, i got my 5. All right, so I can put that guy down. And I'm actually going to stack them here. I've got my 4. I'm going to put that down. I need to know how far it is from left to right. So let's think about it. Let's think about it. Did you say 4? Now, don't say 4 because it looks like a 4. Say a 4 because the entire distance is a 9, and I've used up 5. So that's why there's 4 more that we need. So that is a 4 that's there. I can see the next 4 they've given me. I can see the 9 they've given me. How tall is? Well, don't make the assumption that it's a 9 because there's a 9 that's there. i got to go from top to bottom. So I'm going to use the 4 and the other 4 that's there, because again, those are your vertical lines. So that's going to help me to use those. So 4 plus 4 is an 8, so the entire distance is an 8. So I'm going to add all those guys up. So again, it's a lot to add at once, so just kind of group them together. Um, hey, look at this, 4, 4, and 4. Oh, all that makes a 12. All right, uh, 9 and 8, well, that makes a 17, and I just have my 5 that's over. Now it's a little bit easier to add them up. Um, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so I do have a perimeter of 34, and it's going to be feet, all right, um, so work-wise, there's going to be a lot that's going on here, so we are going to kind of have organization, we'll make sure on tests and quizzes we always give you ample space, I know sometimes uh, you might kind of appreciate a little bit more space, but you can stop right there.